Evening to you tonight, an investigation after Capitol Police take down a rogue gunman. The suspect fired shots while Republican lawmakers practiced for a charity baseball game in Washington, D.C. Representative Steve Scalise was wounded, as were several staffers and officers. The suspect died after Capitol Police fired back. But as you heard on Nightly News, no one knows his motive yet. Two Works for You is tracking team coverage on how our Oklahoma lawmakers are affected. Reporter Tony Russell is live in Claremore with his investigation into how local law enforcement agencies work to keep elected officials safe. And when House and Senate members come and visit our local communities, they often get protection services. That's what the Rogers County Sheriff's Office does for many of those members here in our communities. And the people tasked with protecting our elected officials, they're always preparing. When you don't see local law enforcement on the streets, you'll probably find them here in the classroom. Police and deputies are always training. Sheriff Scott Walton and his team of deputies are called on to protect our congressmen and even presidential candidates when they visit Oklahoma. There's no such thing as a, uh, uh, a laxed or a level two. Everything's a, I mean, everything's a level one. His office and deputies are always preparing for the next big threat to our elected officials and communities. We all have concerns about, I mean, where our safety is compromised, wherever we're at. And, uh, I mean, we look behind us, you know, we see the big box stores and, you know, all different facilities around here, movie theaters, churches, businesses of all types. And, and we see these uh, acts of violence happen literally everywhere. Sergeant Luke Sherman with the Tulsa Police Department's Fugitive Warrant Squad is monitoring the shooting in Virginia and how it's unfolding. Sherman says security is always around our elected officials when they come to town. When you have delegates move in, they come in for interviews and, and bigger events, there is a, you know, there's a potential. And a lot of times those groups will insulate themselves with what I call very um, non-observant, um, not observed. You can't really see it, but there's sometimes a security presence there. There should be. And Sergeant Sir Sherman also serves as the chairman of the board for the National Tactical Officers Association. And Sheriff Walton's deputies recently served on a protective detail when Senator Ted Cruz came here in 2015 when he made stops in Bartlesville and Tulsa. In Claremore, Tony Russell, Two Works For You.